Look at the picture number one in your textbook. A. People are jogging. B. One out of the four people is wearing a backpack. C. People are training in martial arts. D. People are having an argument. Look at the picture number two in your textbook. A. There is a small house next to the paved road. B. There is an apartment in the rural area. C. Trees have been cut down next to the house. D. Flowers are in full bloom next to the house. Look at the picture number three in your textbook. A. The man is tempering steel in a metal workshop. B. The man is sitting and resting. C. The man is sawing wood with a saw. D. The man is working in his personal workshop. Look at the picture number four in your textbook. A. Soldiers are feeding the horses. B. Soldiers are doing shooting practice on horseback. C. Some of the horses do not have riders. D. Soldiers are getting on the horses. Look at the picture number five in your textbook. A. The man is extending his left leg toward the sky while in the air. B. The man is practicing the long jump. C. The man is jumping off a railing. D. The man is falling down. Look at the picture number six in your textbook. A. Some of the audience members are giving a standing ovation. B. The seats are not fully occupied. C. The audience is leaving. D. The seats in the auditorium are arranged in a circular shape. Seven. Do you know when the game is happening? A. I can't find it. B. Maybe at seven o'clock. C. Maybe that's it. Eight. How did you solve this math problem? A. I got help from the teacher. B. The problem isn't solved yet. C. You said it. 9. Haven't we heard anything from the customer? A. A few days ago, they called us. B. How could you think that? C. At that time, we had no choice but to do so. 10. Did they find the cause of the computer malfunction? A. It seems so. B. Don't mention it. C. It's only natural. 11. Sir, is there a place nearby where I can develop black and white film? A. The film industry has declined. B. As far as I know, there isn't. C. The film is running out. 12. If I had known it would be this hard, I wouldn't have started it in the first place. A. The salary is too high. B. Think it over again from the beginning. C. You brought this on yourself. 13. Who defaced my painting? A. Who said that? B. Not me. C. It's not my face. 14. Is the end of month report preparation almost done? A. It seems like it will be difficult by next week. B. I'll review the report and make a decision. C. The report's content differs significantly from the facts. 15. When will you return the book you borrowed? A. Can't you postpone the return for a few days? B. I'm almost done. C. I've paid off all my debts. 16. What do you think the weather will be like tomorrow? A. I haven't checked the weather forecast yet. B. It rained yesterday. C. You can trust the weather forecast. 17. Have you checked the end-of-month report I sent? A. There was nothing in my inbox yesterday. B. The report is hard to read. C. That shouldn't have happened. 
18, they say the list of promotions will be announced next week. A. They have already been promoted. B. The manager wasn't promoted. C. This time, will I be able to be promoted to section chief? 19. Please don't add red pepper powder to the food. A. Red pepper powder is very expensive. B. Do you have an allergy to it? C. There are many types of dishes, so don't worry. 20. I got a stain on my clothes. A. The clothes are too tight on me. B. If you rub toothpaste on it, it should work. C. What size are you? 21. This item comes with a buy two, get one free offer. Uh, I don't want to buy more than I need just to get a free one. B. Does that adequately explain the features of this product? C. Thank you so much for giving me three for free. 22. Drinking spoiled milk can cause problems. A. It's normal for milk to go bad. B. Don't worry, the expiry date is next Sunday. C. It's the tastiest milk I've ever had. 23. What cocktail do you recommend? Uh, cocktails are good for your health. B. Would you like to try a rumble? C. I don't recommend anything. 24. Is the work almost finished? A. I'm almost done. B. I can't tell when it will be finished. C. Yes, I don't like it either. 25. The Pittsburgh Pirates lost again today. A. It's their fifth straight loss. B. No, the team won. C. That's right, baseball is the best sport. 26. What happened to your eye? A. I'm an eye doctor. B. I twisted my ankle. C. I got hit by a baseball. 27. The thought of going to work tomorrow, Monday, is dreadful. A. Tomorrow is Independence Day. B. I have to work tomorrow. C. No, it's Tuesday. 28. Can you fix a flat tire here? A. That can be handled at Tyrex next to that building. B. I didn't cause the flat tire. C. Of course, please show your ID. Twenty-nine. When did this break down? A. Next Tuesday. B. After the recent update. C. At the office. Thirty. When should we schedule the next meeting? A. Haven't all the agenda items been decided today? B. Things will be resolved eventually. See, everything was resolved last week. 31. Can you break this bill? A. Is it okay if I give you all coins? B. No, we can only do bills. C. Of course, what size do you wear? 32-34 through 34. Refer to the following conversation. Hey, I wanted to let you know that I'm planning to take a break from college for a year to travel the world. Really? That sounds exciting. Why did you decide to do that? Well, I feel like I need a break to gain some real-world experience and see new places. Plus, I've always wanted to explore different cultures. That makes sense. So where are you planning to go first? I'm thinking of starting in Japan. I want to learn Japanese and immerse myself in their culture. Wow, that sounds amazing. How do you go about taking a break from college? Is there a lot of paperwork involved? Yeah, there's a bit of paperwork. I need to submit a leave of absence form to the registrar's office. Once that's approved, I'm all set. It should be smooth sailing from here. I hope you have an incredible time 
and learn a lot. Make sure to take lots of pictures. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll definitely keep you updated with all my adventures. 32. What is the true about the man? Thirty-three. What is included in the man's plan? Thirty-four. What does it mean when the woman says, It should be smooth sailing from here. Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Doctor, we need to talk about the surgery scheduled for tomorrow. The primary nurse assigned to the patient is off duty. I see. But this patient is an emergency case. We can't delay the surgery. I understand. Should we consider postponing the nurse's day off to ensure the surgery goes as planned? Yes, that's a good idea. Contact her and see if she can work tomorrow. We can arrange for her to take another day off later to make up for it. I'll get in touch with her right away and explain the situation. I'll confirm a response as soon as possible. Perfect. Please let me know as soon as you have an update. Understood, doctor. I'll handle it and keep you informed. 35. What does the doctor promise the nurse who is off duty? 36. What kind of patient are they talking about? 37. What will the nurse do after the conversation? 38. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'd like to book a flight to Buenos Aires. Argentina for my summer vacation. Of course. Unfortunately, we don't have any direct flights to Buenos Aires, so you'll need to have a layover in another city. I can offer you four different routes. Sure, what are the options? The first option is a layover in New York City. It's a relatively quick transfer, but the price is a bit higher. The second route goes through Mexico City, which is a bit cheaper but has a longer layover. Okay, and the other two? The third option is via Sao Paulo, Brazil. The layover isn't too long, and the price is moderate. Finally, the fourth route is Lima. It has the longest travel time, but it is the most economical choice. I see. Well, to be honest, I need to be mindful of my budget, so I might have to go with the more economical option. Understood. I'll note that down for you. Do you have any other questions or preferences? Not at the moment. Thank you for your help. 38. Why did the man call the airline? 39. What was said about the route through Mexico City? 40. Which flight route is the man likely to choose? 41. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Anna, have you heard anything about last week's shipment? The client is getting impatient. No, David. I thought you were handling it. Have you checked the status? I assumed you were taking care of it. Let me look at the emails. You forwarded the client's request to me, but it seems the order wasn't sent. I thought you were going to process the order after I forwarded it. Looks like we misunderstood each other. Yes, it seems so. I'll send the order right away. I'll call the client and explain the delay. Hopefully, they'll understand. Good idea. We should be clearer about our tasks next time to avoid this. Definitely. 
I'll make sure to confirm responsibilities in the future. Same here. I'll follow up more closely on these orders from now on. Thanks for sorting this out quickly, David. Let's get back on track. Agreed. Thanks, Anna. Let's make sure the client is satisfied with our response. 41. Where do the two people work? Forty-two. What does the woman say? Forty-three. What does the man want? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I noticed you're running really fast on the treadmill. You might want to slow down a bit. Thanks, but I'm trying to burn as many calories as possible in a short time. That's why I'm running fast. I understand, but running too fast can lead to injuries and isn't the most effective way to burn calories. Really? I thought the faster I run, the more calories I burn. Actually, a steady pace with intervals of higher intensity can be more effective and safer. It helps with endurance and calorie burn without putting too much strain on your body. That makes sense. I guess I was pushing myself too hard. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Stay safe and happy running. 44. Where are they? 45. What is the woman misunderstanding? 46. What is the man advising the woman? 47. Questions 47 through 49. Refer to the following conversation. Hey Emma, how about we go see a movie tonight? I'm not really in the mood for a movie. I'd rather go to the amusement park. I don't feel like going to the amusement park. It's always too crowded and noisy for me. Plus, the lines are a hassle. I get that, but it's been ages since we last went. It could be fun to ride the roller coasters and eat some cotton candy. I suppose, but I'm just not in the mood for all that noise and chaos. How about we do something else instead? Well, what about a nice dinner then? There's that new restaurant that just opened. I heard they have amazing food. That sounds good, but I was thinking we could try something a bit more adventurous. How about going to a new art exhibit or a live music show? That could be fun, but I'm not really in the mood for an exhibit. How about we compromise and go to the new restaurant first? We can always check out the show after dinner. Okay, that sounds fair. I'm up for trying the new Italian place. What time should we go? Let's make a reservation for 7 p.m. That should give us plenty of time to enjoy our meal, and then we can see what else is happening around town. Perfect. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since we had a nice dinner out. 47. What is true about the woman? 48. What is true about them? 49. When will they go to the restaurant? 50. Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Alex, I wanted to give you an update on our product sales. The latest figures for our new line of smartwatches, the Veloci series, are in. Thanks, Lily. How are the numbers looking? Have we seen any growth? Unfortunately, the sales have dropped by 15% this quarter. The Veloci series isn't performing as well as expected. That's concerning. Do we know why sales have declined? 
There are a few reasons. Firstly, our competitors have released similar models at lower prices. Additionally, we've had some negative reviews online, which has affected customer trust. I see. What do you suggest we do to boost sales again? I recommend we launch a promotional campaign, offering discounts and bundling deals with our other products. We should also enhance our marketing efforts on social media and address customer reviews more actively to rebuild trust. That sounds like a solid plan, Lily. Let's implement those strategies and see if we can turn things around for the Veloce series. Thanks for the thorough update. You're welcome, Alex. I'm confident these steps will help increase our sales and improve our market position. 50. What is the conversation about? Fifty one. What does the woman say about the product? Fifty two. Which of the following is not true about the woman's suggestion? Questions fifty three through fifty five. Refer to the following conversation. So let's go over the different types of homes you're interested in. First, we have apartments. They're typically in the city, close to amenities, but they can be noisy and lack privacy. I see. What about houses? Next, there are single-family homes. They offer more space and privacy. But the one we have available is quite far from the city center, which means the transportation options are limited. That's a bit of a concern since I have a DUI record and can't drive for a year. I need reliable public transport. Understood. Then we have villas. These are luxurious and spacious, often with nice views. They're usually in quieter areas, but they can be quite expensive. They sound nice, but I'm worried about the cost. What about studios? Finally, we have studios. They're small and affordable great for a single person. They're often found in both the city and suburban areas. However, they can feel cramped if you need more space. I definitely want a quiet place, even if it's far from the city. Privacy and peace are really important to me. In that case, the single family home or a villa might suit you best. We can look for options with better public transport access to accommodate your needs. That sounds good. Let's focus on those then. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Let's find you the perfect home. 53. What is the woman's occupation? 54. What is said about the man? 55. What kind of home will the man choose? Questions 56 through 58. Refer to the following conversation. Hey, Sarah, I sent an email to the client, but it keeps bouncing back. Do you have any idea why this might be happening? Hi, John. That sounds frustrating. Did you double check the email address? Sometimes a small typo can cause that. Yeah, I triple checked it. It's definitely correct. I'm wondering if it's something on their end, like a full inbox or server issue. That's possible. Did you get any error messages when it bounced back? Those can sometimes give clues about what's going wrong. Actually, yes. The error message said something about the recipient's mailbox being temporarily unavailable. Do you think it could be a server problem? It could be. It might also be that their email server is down for maintenance. Have you tried calling them to confirm? Not yet. I was hoping to resolve it without having to make a call. But if that's the best option, I suppose I should. Before you do that, maybe try sending the email from a different account or using a different email client. Sometimes that works if there's an issue with your email provider. Good idea. I'll try sending it from my personal Gmail account and see if it goes through. 
if it still bounces back, then it's definitely something on their end. In that case, giving them a call would be the next step. Sounds like a plan. 56. What do they primarily discuss? Fifty seven. What is true about the Gmail account? Fifty eight. What is mentioned as the last resort for solving the problem? Questions fifty nine through sixty one refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'd like to return these shoes. They're really uncomfortable and gave me blisters after just one day. I'm sorry to hear that. Our policy usually allows returns within 30 days if the shoes are unworn and in their original condition. These look a bit used. Yes, I wore them once, but they're clearly not wearable for me. Surely there's some flexibility in your policy for situations like this? I understand your frustration. Let me check with my manager. We might be able to offer you a conditional refund, perhaps store credit? Store credit could work, but I'd really prefer a full refund. The shoes just aren't right for me. All right. Given the circumstances, we can offer a full refund if you provide the original receipt and fill out a quick form explaining the issue. Would that be acceptable? That sounds fair. I have the receipt here. Thank you for your help. No problem. Let's get this sorted out for you. 59. What does the woman say about her shoes? 60. What does the woman suggest? 61. What does the man offer in the beginning? 62. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and graphic image. Hey Jamie, have you seen the show times for the movies at the theater today? Yeah. I did. There's a mix of genres, which is nice. Are you in the mood for some action or maybe a bit of romance? I was actually thinking about something that could get our hearts racing a bit. But not too intense. What about you? Hmm. I'm okay with something thrilling, but not sci-fi. I prefer something a bit more grounded. All right. That narrows it down. How about the one that has multiple showtimes at 1 p.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. It sounds like it might be a big hit. That works for me. Plus, I've heard some good things about it. The showtime at 4 p.m. fits perfectly into our schedule, too. Great. Let's plan for the 4 p.m. showing, then. Can't wait to see it. Me, too. It's going to be exciting. 62. What does it mean when the man says... I prefer something a bit more grounded. 63. What movie does the man like? 64. For how long will they see the movie? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and graphic image. Are you ready to order? I'd like to order a bagel. I'm sorry, but bagels are part of our breakfast menu. Then I'll have the beef stroganoff. Got it. What would you like to drink? It seems I don't have any options. That's correct. 
However, starting next week, we plan to add a variety of drinks to the menu. In that case, just bring me a drink. Is there anything else you need? Please provide a parking validation when I pay. I understand the parking fee here is quite high. Understood. You don't have to worry, as there's no charge for parking within the first hour. Thank you. 65. What is implied in the talk? Sixty six. How does the man describe the parking fee? Sixty seven. How much will the woman pay for her food in total? Question sixty eight through seventy. Refer to the following conversation and graphic image. Hey, Sarah. Check out this graph I found on social media reach among young people. Cool, let's see. Interesting, it looks like Facebook's reach has been steadily declining over the past few years. Yeah, that's what caught my eye too. Instagram seems to be on the rise though. Definitely, and Twitter seems to be holding steady. So what do you think this means for promoting our new line of products? Well, Facebook used to be a no-brainer for reaching a younger audience, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Right. Maybe we should focus on Instagram and Twitter for our launch. I think that's a good idea. Instagram is especially popular for visual content, which would be perfect for showcasing our new products. Exactly. We can use Twitter to generate buzz and excitement around the launch. Great. So let's put together a plan to target both Instagram and Twitter for our marketing campaign. Sounds good to me. 68. What did the two people misunderstand about the content of the graph during their conversation? 69. Why are they trying to use social media? 70. What social media will they use? 71-73 Question 71 through 73. Refer to the following announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are currently cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet, and I wanted to inform you that we may experience some rough air in the next few minutes. This is a normal part of flying, but it's important to take a few precautions to ensure your safety and comfort. Please fasten your seatbelts tightly and keep them fastened whenever you are seated. This will help keep you secure in your seat and prevent any injuries. We also recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened while you are seated, as unexpected bumps can sometimes happen. Please make sure your tray tables are stowed and your seat backs are in the upright and locked position. These simple steps will help minimize any discomfort during the flight. If you need assistance or have any concerns, our flight attendants are here to help. Thank you for your attention, and we appreciate your cooperation as we navigate through this area of unsettled air. 71. What is the captain talking about? 72. How does the captain describe what is about to happen? 73. What does the captain ask for? Questions 74 through 76. Refer to the following talk. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the TechMaster 3000, the future of technology. This cutting-edge device offers wireless charging, so no more tangled cords, just place it on the charging pad. Plus, its incredible battery lasts up to three days without needing a recharge. Starting today, Monday, we're offering a special discount on the TechMaster 3000, but hurry. 
This offer is only available for four days. Don't miss your chance to get this amazing device at an unbeatable price. Visit our website or your nearest retailer now to take advantage of this limited time offer. Experience the future with the TechMaster 3000. Thank you for your attention. 74. What are the advantages of this product? Seventy five. What is true about this product? Seventy six. Until when is the discount valid? Questions seventy seven through seventy eight. Refer to the following news report. Good evening, sports fans. In today's thrilling baseball news, the New York Mets scored a significant victory over the New York Yankees, winning by a large margin. Key player Mike Johnson was crucial in the win, showcasing exceptional skills throughout the game. Unfortunately, during a defensive play, Johnson suffered a severe injury. Medical reports indicate that he will likely be unable to play for the rest of the season. And now, stay tuned as our weather forecaster, Emily Davis, will give you the latest update on tomorrow's weather. 77. What is said about Mike Johnson? 78. What is true about Mike Johnson? 79. What will come after this talk? Questions 80 through 82. Refer to the following news report. Good evening. In international news, the conflict between Israel and Hamas continues to escalate, drawing global attention. Over the past week, both sides have reported significant casualties, with civilian areas heavily affected. Israeli airstrikes have targeted what they describe as Hamas infrastructure, while Hamas rockets have struck major cities in Israel. The humanitarian situation is worsening, with thousands displaced and in urgent need of aid. The UN is calling for an immediate ceasefire and mobilizing relief efforts. World leaders are pushing for negotiations, but a path to peace remains elusive. As the conflict continues, the global community hopes for a swift resolution to end the suffering of civilians caught in the crossfire. Stay tuned for updates on this developing story. 80. What does the UN call for? 81. According to the news report, what has Israel targeted? 82. How do world leaders view the future of the conflict? 83. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. Discover the adventure of a lifetime with our exclusive Caribbean cruise. Set sail to the breathtaking islands of the Caribbean, visiting the stunning destinations of Jamaica. Barbados, and the Bahamas. Immerse yourself in the vibrant cultures, pristine beaches, and crystal clear waters that these tropical paradises have to offer. Book now and take advantage of our special offer. For a limited time, enjoy free upgrades to our premium dining package, free shore excursions in every port, and a relaxing spa treatment on board. To qualify, Simply book your cruise within the next seven days and mention the code CARIBBEAN2024. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to explore the Caribbean in style and comfort. Visit our website or contact our travel experts today to secure your spot on this unforgettable journey. 83. What is the talk mainly about? 
84. What is provided in this travel package? Eighty five. What is Caribbean twenty twenty four? Questions eighty six through eighty eight refer to the following talk. We're reaching out regarding your recent purchase of a laser distance meter, GDM. We understand you contacted us about potential malfunctions with the device. We take all customer concerns seriously and we apologize for any frustration you experienced. After reviewing your initial message, we discovered a potential cause for the discrepancies you encountered. It appears there might have been a misunderstanding regarding the measurement system. The laser distance meter you purchased may be calibrated for the metric system, kilometers, while you might be using it with the imperial system, miles. This difference could explain the readings you received. We sincerely apologize if we didn't clarify this crucial detail up front. We strive to provide clear information, and we regret any confusion this might have caused. To ensure your satisfaction, we'd like to offer a full refund for the laser distance meter or a replacement unit specifically calibrated for the Imperial system. Please let us know your preferred option at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your understanding. We appreciate your feedback and will use this experience to improve our communication with future customers. 86. What is the talk mainly about? 87. What is true about GDM? 88. What is the cause of the problem? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. Today, let's talk about how to protect your eyes. Our eyes are incredibly sensitive, and maintaining their health is crucial. It's important to be cautious with prolonged exposure to bright lights as they can strain our vision and accelerate eye fatigue. Also, many of you might be using APM, which is commonly available in the market. While it's marketed as a solution for eye discomfort, using it excessively can actually do more harm than good. Over-reliance on such products can disrupt the natural balance of your eyes, potentially leading to more severe issues over time. So, remember to take regular breaks from screens Avoid bright lights when possible, and consult your eye specialist before starting any new eye care products. Your eyes will thank you. 89. According to the talk, which color is the speaker discussing in terms of its effect on our eyes? 90. What is ADM? 91. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. In South Korea, despite steady economic growth, the new president elected two years ago has implemented policies that have worsened economic indicators, leading to higher unemployment and reduced consumer spending. Japan continues to face low wages and deflation, driven by an aging population and stagnant wage growth, keeping consumer prices low and stifling economic growth. Government efforts to boost inflation have had limited success. In China, an oversupply of apartments has created a significant economic burden. Excessive construction has led to falling property prices and reduced investments in the housing sector, slowing economic growth. Taiwan is dealing with risks from tensions with mainland China, discouraging foreign investment and creating economic instability. The threat of conflict continues to impact Taiwan's economic outlook. 92. According to the talk, what is the problem in South Korea attributed to? 
93. According to the talk, where do the issues in the Chinese economy stem from? Ninety four. Among the countries mentioned in the talk, which one has issues with external forces? Questions ninety five through ninety seven refer to the following talk. Welcome, everyone. Today we're looking at a fascinating piece by the artist James Doe titled The Infinite Journey. Notice the peculiar blending of dreamlike landscapes and distorted realities. This painting vividly captures the essence of traveling through different eras, with elements from the past, present and future merging seamlessly on the canvas. Look at the melting clocks draped over ancient ruins and futuristic cityscapes, symbolizing the fluidity and ambiguity of time. The vibrant colors and abstract forms draw you into a world where conventional logic doesn't apply. The theme here revolves around the concept of journeying through time, challenging our perception of reality and the boundaries of existence. This artwork invites us to ponder the mysteries of time and space, encouraging a deeper reflection on our place within this ever-changing continuum. Take a moment to let your imagination wander through the realms depicted here and experience the artist's vision of a world beyond the ordinary. There is a great sense of regret knowing that had he not died at the early age of 29, he could have gifted us with many more outstanding works. 95. What is likely the genre of this artwork? 96. What kind of imagery does this artwork convey to us? 97. What is said about James Doe? 98 through 100 refer to the following talk and graphic image as we look at the world map let's delve into some crucial aspects of global environment energy war and climate change china highlighted in green on the map is the largest emitter of carbon dioxide making a significant impact on global warming the countries marked in yellow are the ones making the most use of alternative energy sources leading the way in sustainable energy practices these nations are pioneering efforts to reduce carbon footprints and promote renewable energy. The countries shown in purple are experiencing ongoing economic decline, struggling with various challenges that hinder their growth and development. Meanwhile, the nations in blue have recently discovered substantial reserves of underground resources, opening new opportunities for economic development and energy supply. This visual representation provides a clear snapshot of the diverse challenges and opportunities each region faces in our ever-evolving global landscape. It highlights the critical need for collaborative efforts to address these issues and secure a sustainable future for all. Reducing one's carbon footprint involves adopting practices and technologies that lower greenhouse gas emissions, such as using renewable energy sources, improving energy efficiency, reducing waste, and changing consumption habits. 98. What color is used to indicate countries using fuels that can replace fossil fuels? 99. Which region was not mentioned in connection with environmental issues? 100. What has been described about the region marked in blue?